quadratic equations. I'm Anil Kumar and we'll try to solve these quadratic equations. The question is state the roots of the following. When we say roots, what does it mean? It basically means the solutions of the equations, right? Now roots could be imaginary or real. Now the first equation is 3x minus 1 times 1 minus 2x equals to 0. The second one is 9 times x minus 1 whole square equals to 36. Let us solve them one by one. Now here, if there are two factors whose product is 0, that means either one of them could be 0 or both could be 0. Since we need to find all the possible roots, we'll equate them to 0 and then figure out what x could be. 3x minus 1 equals to 0 gives us 3x equals to 1 or x is equals to 1 over 3. On the other hand, 1 minus 2x equals to 0 leads to 1 equals to 2x or x equals to half, right? So we have two solutions and therefore our answer is x equals to 1 over 3 or 1 over 2. Correct? So if I put 1 over 2 here, then 2 times half is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 times anything will give us 0. So the equation will be valid. In this case also, if I write x as 1 third, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that is how you can always solve quadratic equation when given in factored form. Now here we have kind of vertex form equations. At times we can also write this as 9 times x minus 1 whole square minus 36 equals to 0, right? In that case, you take it to the right side, as we have done here, and now follow the steps. First step is divide by 9. So we get x minus 1 whole square equals to 36 divided by 9. Now, 36 divided by 9 is 4. So let's write 4 here. So we have x minus 1 whole square equals to 4. Now let us square root both sides. If I do square root, I get x minus 1. And on the right side, I get square root of 4. Remember one thing. That square of positive 2 and square of negative 2, both can give me 4. Do you understand? Therefore, whenever you square root, don't forget to write plus and minus. These are two numbers which will give you the same result. Right? So that gives us, if I write plus and minus, there are two possibilities. Square root of 4 is 2. So x minus 1 could be either plus 2 or minus 2. So we have two solutions, right? So let me do them separately. So first is when x minus 1 equals to plus 2, the second one is x minus 1 equals to minus 2. Let us solve for both of them. Here we have x equals to 2 plus 1, which is 3. And here we have x equals to minus 2 plus 1. And that gives us minus 1. And therefore, our answer is x equals to either minus 1 or 3. So that is how you can solve a quadratic equation when given in vertex form. This kind of vertex form. I could have written this question like this also. 9 times x minus 1 whole square minus 36 equals to 0, right? And then this step and follow. Or in factored form, correct? I hope that helps. Thank you.